So welcome to our new franchise mode in NHL 24. It is going to be the St. Louis Blues, a team I have never done on this channel, a team I've been wanting to do for a little while now. They always fell short in the votes, so you know what? No vote this time. I'm just going to do the St. Louis Blues. So here we are. I've already gone ahead and done uh, all the settings. Um, my normal settings besides the uh, prospect stuff is all set to medium, medium. Um, I've gone ahead and got the scouts. Uh, actually, not a bad scouting thing to start off. I only had to replace like three scouts and sign three others because we only started with 17. But I got them all in the places that I want. We actually started with a few A's here, which is not too bad. And a few B's. So not horrible. Coaches are, yeah, whatever. <laughs> There's not even any real good ones in uh, free agency, at least with good teaching and stuff like that. Now, the St. Louis Blues are an interesting team. Currently, right now, they are floundering. If you take a look at the lines in the game, this team probably kicks ass in the sim, which is stupid. But uh, that's that's the game. Now... What we're going to do here is probably what the team should do is rip the band-aid off and kind of just start blowing things up. Because, yeah, this this is a team that's going to make the playoffs be a bubble team in the sim, definitely. Maybe they make a deep run, but we all know EA sims are, are kind of a joke. So we're going to treat it as they should do. And that is to stop messing around and just blow things up. Because, yeah, they got Thomas and Kyra who, you know, and you know, enter entering their prime. They're solid. But, you know, everything else up and down the roster. Neighbors is fine. Sure. Like, we can hold on to some of these guys. But then you look at Krug, who's 32. Pareko's 30. Signed for a ridiculous amount of time. Falk, who's 31, right? It's just, this is a team, if they want to get back to the promised land, who are in dire need of just probably at this point blowing it up. So, I think that's what we're going to do in this one, is start unloading some pieces, and we probably won't tank the first year. That's the other thing. Maybe we should just go in the first year. Oh, man. Oh, God. Yeah, they just signed Thomas. So, Thomas is someone you probably... Oh, my God. What the hell are these... <laughs> I guess you hold on to Thomas and Kairu? Yeah, I guess we could, but the defense needs to be completely retooled. Dude, like, the way it's looking... Oh, man, the coach hates... Like, you could do that, but this is terrible. Oh, my God. <laughs> Apparently, this coach they have is uh, absolutely atrocious in this one. I am... God damn. It, 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 it's, it's, it's not great. This is such a weird team, man. Such a weird team. I think in this first year, we're just going to kind of see what they do. Yeah, because I was looking at, okay, unloadable pieces, and then it's like, well, no one's really on an expiring deal. Kapanen, that's it. He's not going to net you too much. What the heck do they have in the way of assets, then? All right, let's we'll kind of get our bearings here. And they do, yeah, they picked up a couple extra picks. Some seconds, some thirds, some sevens. They have some decent assets, at least in the coming draft. So that's nice. And they're right up against the cap. What the heck? All right. Um, let's see in the form of player assets here in the system. 
obviously. Thomas and Kairu. I guess you could try to quick turn around because of that. Bolduc is is not bad. Let's see what his stats are. Another two way, yeah. A lot of two ways here. In the system wise, couple top sixes, couple top fours. That's it though. Nothing elite. Uh Jarenko, who's not horrible, but he's probably only gonna get up to maybe 83 overall if you're lucky. He's not horrible, though. He really isn't. They got hopped. Actually, they're not bad in the way of goaltenders. Yeah, so that's at least nice. You don't necessarily need a goaltender. Mm, this is kind of tough. It's going to be really interesting to try to rebuild this team. Or retool it. It's It's such a weird team. This is bizarre. Okay, yeah, I I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm just going to kind of start simming here. Because it almost feels like... I, I have a feeling in the sim we're actually going to do kind of good. Let's actually see if this team in the EA sim kind of has what it takes here. I, I'm just curious. So we're going to start simming here. I have no idea what's going to happen, but I have a feeling they're not going to be too bad in this first year. Yep. <laughs> Lose 6-2 to two in the first game. Alright, well, we're not starting out amazingly. Pretty middling. Uh, What? This is a negative net value trade. What is this? Get out of here. <laughs> what the heck kind of trade is that? Okay, we are struggling in the beginning here. Scandella's out. I'm, I'm just going to keep best. Yeah, I'll probably just keep. Well, I can't really best lines it because I was messing with that stuff. So it's seeming like they're making the decision for us. Right? Jesus, this coach sucks. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're kind of making the decision for us early on here. Uh, I could best lines the AHL because I didn't even touch that. We just lost to the Sharks. Saying it's going to be a bit weaker of a draft. Okay, well. I mean, it looks like they're kind of making our decision for us. At this point, you know. It's where you can kind of say, okay, writing's on the wall. This core isn't getting it done. The good news is, Thomas and Kairu are, you know, still young enough to build around. If you can do it quickly. So the good, so the bad news is no real rentals besides Kappen. And the good news is, is they, theoretically, you give them the teams that can use them slash have cap space for them. And that's a pretty decent deal for Bushnevich. Watch us start winning a bunch of games in a row now. No. I mean, oh my god. It's just like one game below 500. In fifth, only... No, no, no. We're six points out. Yeah, we don't even have wild card. Okay, we're four points out of the wild card. Sub 500. It's a 500 team in a wild card spot. It's, our, again, kind of seemingly making the decision for us here. It's like, yeah, we can still push back in, but oh my goodness. Let's see what the heck's going on. Dude, we, we are not scoring. <laughs> Holy crap. How, uh, I, I'm even surprised our record's good, as good as it is. It's just, yeah, those last games of the, you know, the one nothing Bennington's. That's it. I mean, yeah, at this point, new GM coming in. It's like, okay, I don't like this roster. We'll see what happens. No, that, that this ain't it, Chief. This ain't it, Chief. What the heck? Can we unload to to any team? A team that's actually... Trying to do stuff, which is gonna be tough. Yeah. Hmm. 
Okay. Oh, these guys don't even have great value. Probably because of those long contracts. Bushnevich, at least. Yeah, he's a nice short-term solution for someone. He's our leading point scorer. <laughs> we have no shooter on that line. It's a mess offensively, let's be honest. It is a break. Oh, man. These contracts, though. Is Hayes on? No. no. Jeez. All right, well, Bushnevich is kind of our biggest piece right now. Now, a team right here, 7, 11, and 3, they probably aren't going to give up their first in that situation. What the hell? I'm looking at teams that would fit. Yeah, no. Listed as a... Oh, okay, they don't want Bushnevich. Here, yeah. We'd have to take Cat back from the Lightning. That might be tough, but that's an option. Okay, well, this makes sense. Here's, a, here's another playmaker for them. Yeah, in real life, it wouldn't make sense. But right now, this would make sense. This would definitely help boost them. Uh, yeah. He's right and left wing, so yeah. Playing with Ovi? That would be a really good trade for them. Oh, why? Why does it still have that much value? And they actually don't want to give it up. That sucks. I was hoping just to get a first out of it. I mean, I, can't, I, I would. I could still get that first, but the fact that they don't want to give it up does suck. They want Bushnevich. We'd have to take back some kind of player. Do they have any spot filler? Snivelly! <laughs> I don't, I, I know it's, it's probably not that, but... Hey, at least that's a sniper. <laughs> Put him on that top line. Maybe we can boost his value before the deadline. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna throw him in there. He can at least spot fill there. Alright, we'll see. I mean, it's two years of Bushnevich on a pretty good contract. And the fact that they're 13, 6, and 1 is amazing. Oh, wow. And yes, I have trade difficulty set the hard. Sweet. Okay. That was easy. All right. Let me just throw in Sniv. I'm just going to call him Snively. I don't know how it's pronounced, but it's Snively around here. So, like, yeah, we could put Hayes up there. He's a power forward. But I want to put a 77 sniper and see what he can do. With Robert Thomas and Jordan Cairo. It doesn't have a bad shot, man. He's got four goals in 20 games. Let's see what the hell we can do with that guy. Watch us be better. Oh, good gracious. What is this? It's fine. It's just, oh my god. Minus five. Yeah, dude. There's no way we were doing anything. I didn't even check the power play and stuff. But yeah, with the chemistries, there's no way. Okay. So there we go. First trade has been made. I don't know of anything else we could offload right now. I would love for to offload one of the defensemen, but holy crap, who is it and how? Oh, the contracts suck. Letty? Dude, even... Ugh. They really doubled down on being mediocre, didn't they? Holy crap. Okay, Scandella. But he's not worth a, a terrible amount. Pareko for a team, yeah, but it's, you know, it's that thing of who the heck do you give them to? I'm not going to give them to anyone listed as a seller. Unless in real life, maybe. They would be a buyer in this situation. I'm just looking at cap spaces are tough here. Which is, yeah. Uh, we're, I don't think we're using any, I can't tell if we're using any, uh. I have 3.5 million. Oh, God. <laughs> Minnesota, what a start. I'm just taking another look. Yeah, New Jersey, young enough to punt. This is amazing to me. Cap-wise, it's just so tough. Yeah, it's really tough to be able to fit anything. And I'm trying to make them, again, I'm not overly realistic, but in the first year, stuff like that, I'll, I'll, I try to make trades make sense for sure.
sometimes. Dude. Yeah, cap-wise, man, it's... That's real tough. Let me just look at the defenseman here. What? Oh, this is... Okay. I mean, that's some decent value. But again, three years left. Scandella is the one I was thinking of. He's the rental. He's tradable, but you don't get much back for him. Again, makes sense. I doubt I could get a future second from like a... I would go way into the future. I'd go to like year three or four. Hmm. If you want to turn it around quick, you got to somehow move out the big... We have to wait till the off season. We're going to have to wait till the off season to offload big contracts. We just can't do it here. And that's okay. We can do it. We can get away without, you know, retaining and stuff like that. And we should be able to. We have a lot of picks for this year. So we can use these to trade up into locations, which I'll probably do. Because the third and fourth round in this first year are not going to be good. Second round might not even be that good. We are able to have two firsts now, which is great. Let's let's go to the high rollers here. They they would pick up any anything and everything that isn't nailed down. Yeah, they want of course they want Scandella. We can retain on him. It's only a year. And we will. That'll increase the value. I'm I'm just kind of hoping to get a second of some sort. Now, I can't go too far in the future. <laughs> yeah, next year's second is not nailed down. Uh, the, yeah, the problem is you want it to be on the block, right? We could go next year's second. It wouldn't be the worst idea. This That would should go through with the retention. We can try it. I'm, I want it to be one on the block for sure. I'll try to get a little bit of something extra as well. Um, we'll go way into the future though. For like a fourth. I doubt this goes through. Nope. Alright, let's try it straight up for that second. With the retention, maybe. No. It's not even close. I could trade some of our mid picks. They're lacking picks. And, and again, you're probably not finding the medium elites in this first season. Or anything great late round. Second year is even worse though usually. And we don't have a 7. Hmm. Let me just see if I throw on a 26-7. That moves the needle. Okay. I'll take that. Yeah, any one of the first three years late picks can be very, very hit or miss. Or mostly miss, I should say. Let's just go to edit lines. I could start best linesing it. But let's throw in. You know what? Letty should go up. Let's double switch it. We'll get Pernovich in there and then move Letty in here because we want to try to boost his value. <laughs> if that's even possible with the remaining years he has left. Chemistries are absolutely atrocious. Good God. Oh, bad contracts. Ooh. Yeah, again, you're, these are, a lot of these are going to have to be off-season moves. Which is fine. We're going to unload what we can here. Ka okay, ooh, Kapanen. Good. Mm, 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 mm. We want to try to boost up Kapanen. If we can. Let's do that. We'll move Sod down. Move Kappen into the sack. I might even... Oh my god, his offense is non-existent. Yeah, that's our... He had 1.22. Yeah, he was fine. Ah, holy shit. All right, let's move him on to the second line. Hope we can maybe try to boost his value come the deadline. That's our next... Because I doubt he has much right now. I, I think he has about nothing right now in the way of value. So we won't be able to do much. Yeah, if he's not here, he's got nothing. Oh, he's got, like, a negative value. Yeah, good depth piece, but I would love to try... Okay, can I get him to actually... Hmm. How much do I want him to produce is the question. Jesus, 10 points. 
The play still has to try this. I think I think the play still has to be to try this guy here. And I just have to keep capping in. Yeah, you know what? That second line was producing better in the format that they had. So we'll keep capping in here. See if we can maybe get him to produce. And then he'd have a time. He's not going to, like, shoot up in Valley. But maybe we can get a tiny bit more so we can guarantee getting a three or a four for him. And uh, Snively here, I'm just seeing if we can make him have a ridiculous season. And then he could be a wild card to offload at the deadline. Uh, highly doubt it because he's 77 overall. And I don't know if performance boost will knock him up that much. So yeah. I think that'll be it for now. We will sim up to the deadline. We would like to un uh, offload Bennington as well. What's his... Oh yeah, what's his contract like actually? I didn't actually check. I, I think he's signed forever. I'm pretty sure he's signed forever. Okay, not that much forever. But again, that's probably going to have to be an off-season move. Ooh, well, or, or we'll reassess. We'll reassess at the deadline. If a team doesn't have a goaltender and no nothing coming up. Otherwise, these are going to have to be off-season moves. Alright, oops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's the deadline. Let's go up. We're probably going to kick ass now. We made our team worse. Ugh. I don't even know if I have any depth pieces left. <laughs> I don't think I had a defensive depth piece. It's gonna just be whoever scratched. Yeah, wa Oh crap, what's Bolduc doing? Guess I should have checked that. Lol. Uh, stop the sim real quick. What the hell is Bolduc doing up here? Put him in the AHL. Whoops. Missed a little bit of development, but yeah, it is what it is. I always forget how bad. I mean, I, you know, they have them up, but, like, that just goes to show you how stupid teams are. We got Zach Bolduc. We're going to scratch him. Got this young guy with some potential. Scratch him. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm just, I, he, he'll play in the AHL so I can best lines it. Okay, second line's fine for him. Do I have... Eh, it's nothing of huge consequence that's scratched, honestly. No. Like, sure, I can min-max and try to boost, like, a Mark Andre got, but I'd rather just be able to best lines, so. We're gonna skip that. Michael Pekka. Matthew Pekka. Oh, Verona. <laughs> I was gonna say, instead of, you know what, maybe instead of Snively, Verona would be someone who would actually have more value. Now he'd be tough. Okay, I've I've made a decision. I'm gonna call up Verona. We should be able to now, cap wise. There we go. Yeah, we'll we'll swap these two. Oh, he has to go through waivers. Whatever. Yeah, he didn't get claimed. Why would he get claimed? 77 overall sniper. All right. Yeah. You know what? We're gonna put Verona in here. He'll be the guy we try to boost up. That's a much better option. First power play, I'll be on the four man. HL, I'll put Snively in there. Sorry, buddy. Spot filler. Oh, God. Okay. Done and done. Whatever, just throw them in, doesn't matter. There we go. What? What? No, it's litter. Oh, strategies. Ah, oh, Bolduc's doing everything. I, I'll just put go down because yeah, our, our chemistries are just atrocious all across the board. Yeah, this is, just needs a huge. Oh, they actually get better chemistry. So we'll see. We'll see if we could boost Verona and Kapanen's value before the end of the season. Again, everyone else is an off-season type move because they got years left. And have to carefully consider good places to send them. Probably holding on to Thomas and Kairu, especially with their performances right now. You can't, you're not gonna be able to move those at the end of the season if they keep on that pace. And you're gonna try to retool around them. If it's looking like not a great option, then they could be moved and it turns into more of a longer term, full on rebuild. So we'll see. We'll play that by ear. But for right now, we're keeping them, especially with those contracts. <laughs> Big yikes. Okay. 
All right. Vrana attempt on the top line. That's a good goal scoring, at least. We will get some scouting done here for this first one. I'll show you guys. Okay, we're doing this. Well, at least there's a lot of elites. Okay, I'll get a lot. I have no idea where we're ending up in the first round, so we're going to get as much scouted as possible. Those top five should get revealed. If they don't, I'll use all my interviews. At least two of them should get revealed. Yeah. Let's get as much of this figured out as we can. And then we'll take a look at the target scouting. I doubt we find much this season. We shouldn't need to go too much further, but you never know with the EA Sim engine. With how much worse we made our team. You never know if we made them better on accident. So I want to know what the heck is in this first round everywhere. And we also have two firsts, so it's a good idea anyway, because we don't don't know where Washington's ending up. Oh, what's he? Yeah, all spin skin. Okay. Okay. We're getting towards the area where top nines will appear mostly, so... I'll still click them. But don't hope for the hope for good things back there. Yep, yep, yep. A uh, real guy, but I'll still scout him because this first year they could be top fours, top sixes, and that. Okay, not this guy. Whoops. That guy is for sure EA generated, right? Oh, I can't see his overall. Oh, okay. It scrolls, <laughs> but they're both C's. Yeah, not a whole lot of hope for medium elites in this first year in the steel ranges, but uh, we'll still do our uh, due diligence and hope for the best. When it comes to lows, too, yeah, that's it's another thing. You might be able to find some, but it's not very for certain. Good news is, these are decent locations if there were to be medium elite steals. And if this is a thinner draft, as my head scout said. But we all know those guys are full of shit. Like, they always, they say one thing and then it seems to always be the opposite. Coming in the 100s, these guys could be the later low elites who are just coming much, much early. I even off, actually. This guy looks like something I always see. Dimitri Ivanov. Who knows, though? Still looking at him, because I always have hope. And what the heck, what the heck else are we going to scout? All right. I'm not even switching names right here. I'm just going. The 17 year olds are giving me hope though. Okay. He has an accent. I don't know if they actually, I don't think you can get accents for no, uh, non EA generated guys. Can you? Don't know, but at least we'll have hopefully a lot figured out. Again, our scouting team is not awful. It's actually not too bad. And the efficiencies, I, I was able to get pretty lucky with the efficiencies too. I think we have one of the Russian scouts is like a D minus, but it is what it is. A lot of the other ones are just C's and better for efficiencies, which is quite good for the first year. RN Jesus was kind to us when it came to our scouting team. It really was. All right, well, hey, top four would be worth. We got tons of seconds. God, I have so many long-name scouts. Their grades are going off the table. I'm going to fire them just because of that. <laughs> That's definitely a real person. I don't think they get name. Yeah, EA doesn't generate the name Nilopeka at all. Okay, that's that for the first scouting thing. The other ones, subsequent ones in this year will be edited out as per usual, but I will do them. Uh, Paranovich. I think I called him Pernovich earlier. Mr. OFD, get in there. And yeah, we're going to win games. <laughs> nah. I don't know if we'll completely tank just because we have Bennington. Well, Thomas is now injured. 
Rip. Verona. Dude, he had eight points in nine games played. Son of a bitch. But don't care enough to edit lines too much. Come on now. Don't mess with me. We know it's fine. God, take that glitch out of the game. Minus five chemistry, by the way. Hype. He's already back. Good. We got to keep getting Verona those performance boosts. Get back in there. Sir Thomas. All right, it screwed up my sim thing. Now, Toy Krug. I'm just going to... I know where he is. What? What is... What? This is even worse than the last one. You're saying that... No, they're literally saying Cranley's only worth like a seventh or less. That is nuts. I'm, I'm going to make my own trades, EA, because you are absolutely atrocious at this. Seriously, they want the three to move up to that, and, like, I think a three to a two is is much, much better value than a seven to a five. And, like, it, that trade just makes no sense. It makes no sense valuation-wise for me. Krug's back. I'm not going to best lines because I actually have some things set up. There you go, back in there, son. Yeah, I don't know what our record is because it's doing the weird sim thing. We're going to best line Springfield because I don't care. I, I, I kind of want to see what's happening, though. Where are we? <laughs> we're just one game below 500, of course. So we're not going to tank tank. We're going to have a very awkward pick. But hey, oh. What can you do? Again, we'll reassess at the deadline. Uh, but I'm going to do some scouting real quick. Oh my god. If you think we're not going to take this guy based on namesake alone, you are absolutely wrong. <laughs> All right, we continue on here, hovering around 500, of course, which we'll probably do to the end of the season. Oh my God, the Wild are absolutely balls. <laughs> Sharks fired their coach. Why aren't we good, bro? Uh, Sunkfist is injured. I'm just trying to think, yeah, I was just trying to remember who, what line he was on, third line. There you go. And did it mess up my sim again? No, we just, we just skipped Edmonton. Alright, moment of truth coming up as we get to the deadline. Did I'm not even gonna look at his stats yet. Oh my goodness, here we go, above 500. <laughs> Starting to win more games. Oh my god, of course. Yep. Oh my god, we're actually close to the playoffs now. <laughs> Alright. One game prior to the deadline. Did we boost the values? Probably not. Robert Tom. Well, it depends on the points that he had in, the, in that game split. I don't even know why I'm bothering to check team stats. Our scoring went up. We we actively made our offense worse and our scoring shot up. I guess you can consider it regression to the mean. Goals against was pretty much the same all season. Penalty kill was really good. 7-3-0 in the last 10. The old St. Louis push. Ah, not great from Verona. That's unfortunate. How about... Oh, I didn't... Kapanen? Wait. Oh, goodness gracious. That, yeah, nothing nothing happened. Good news is, is that we may have some stat growth in Hayes. Maybe Shen, too, if they can keep on the pace that they're on. Maybe. Shen, probably not. Hayes, maybe. Not like they're that low, though. Letty did pretty good, though. Yeah. Bennington, this is a good season for him considering the team he's on. We'll still offload some contracts, but you're, yeah, you're Bennington showing, hey, he's a good goaltender again. It's not just that one playoff run. Oh my God, he has an assist. And this is, this is something that you can probably convince people to take in the offseason then. I would say. So that's nice. Other than that though, meh. Well, let's... Uh, I did want to maybe try to get through this whole first year. So I have I have a plan. We're gonna we're gonna blow by the deadline. We'll get the draft in the second video instead of having 
that one because like yeah i could ask you guys what i want what do you want to do but meh i already kind of have a plan here so let's see i don't think we were able to boost up their value whatsoever no verona has a little bit oh god did i oh man no he has he just has like negative value but you want to try to get something back for him so let's see They want Kapanen. Kapanen seems more like a Canes type player. Although, hmm. No, he seems more like an Avs type player. Dude, why? Why? Wait, hold on. I'm on all skaters. <laughs> There's your top nine. Yeah, I guess I could use them on the fourth line. They want to get rid of Colton. Huh. Interesting. We, we're not getting much for Kapanen, though. I'm going to go for futures. There's no way we even get a four. I'll try, but I... Oh, but yeah, we'd have to take back a skater, too. Oof. Is there anyone we wouldn't have to take back a skater from? Maybe Carolina? Oh, they don't want to get... Oh, no, they do. Maybe over Calf. That's okay. We can retain. It's one, another one year left. Where's our retention slots at? I thought it would show it here. can't remember. Either way, that's league approved at least. Would they go for that for a four? Just a bit load. Okay. We can maybe make this go through. Do I have any unsigned junk? Probably not. No. There's no way. Oh, I do. A 70 or a bottom six guy. I'll check player types just on the off chance that one of them is completely useless. No, they're pretty much the same. Throw in Sim. That should that should 100% go through. I might even be able to take back a little something extra. If I'm doing that, it's going to be a 7 from way in the future. Because that's when they can actually be good in the 7th round. Let's try that. No. Okay, remove the 7. There we go. Alright. So we made that go through. Yes, 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 yes. I gotta throw someone in there. I'll have to call someone up after this too, but we have guys we can do that for. Do that with, do that for, whatever. Uh, at this point, eh, we don't want to ruin their production. Let's... No, saw it. I moved... Yeah, I just, I just shifted him, yeah. So we can do that, and then throw in Walker. That'll be fine. And I would still like to move Verana because he's got the one year left. We can we can retain on him too. That should be our last. Unless again, I wish it would. Sh Where does it show my retention slots? I mean, at this point, I should just try to retain on him. But yeah, okay, salaries retained too. That's I, I wish it would show you on the trade screen. Maybe it, am, am am I just blind and not seeing it? But I'm pretty sure it doesn't show you. It should. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. And if I click on here, I still don't see it anywhere. So, yeah. Um, yeah. We're not going to get a whole heck of a lot for Verona. We'll get a bit more than we did for Kapanen. So, who needs... Maybe Boston. Not really, though. They're kind of stacked. Well, not stacked, but you know what I mean. Like, he'd, what, he'd be playing on the fourth line? That doesn't make a whole heck, heck of a lot of sense for them, because he's more of a third-line scorer. So we'll try to find a better fit for him. Maybe Dallas? What are they looking like? Maybe. The Donov is a better scorer than him, so it's not the best fit. Unless they just want a depth piece. He would be nice scoring depth for them. Panthers. There's their top nine, so not really. The smart thing would be to have Lundell on the fourth and then Brana up, but they won't do that. At this point, I should just ship him out <laughs> for a bag of pucks. 
and not care. Oh, yeah. This could be it. There you go. There's your fit right here. There's your fit. Some depth scoring for the Islanders. They they definitely need it. Okay. We can maybe get a third. You probably want to go the 27 because that's when they can actually start being meet them elites. And that's way far off. Those guys just become trade value-ish. Yeah, it's not the greatest. Might as well make it early. Maybe we can get their second since they're doing so good. With the retention, maybe, man. With retention, we might be able to make this work. We might. Yeah, I have that other junk guy. And this is perfect for that. Would this... Oh, they have too many... Oh, shoot. I totally forgot they have too many skaters. They want to get rid of this guy who signed. Man, could we get this second? That would be huge. Yep. I'm just taking that. I know I can maybe get more. But we're going for that. Holy crap. A second? It is a seller's market. All right, who do we call up? Godette, maybe? Not like our AHL is doing tremendous. This will this will give Bulldog some first line time. So yeah. How old is he? Hold on. Oh yeah, yeah. He's he's done. Let's call up Godet. All righty. Um, who goes top line? Remember when Blay was gonna be much better? We can try throw. We can throw neighbors up there. Try to boost him up at the end of the season. Sure. Oh, I should have double switched, huh? Yeah, let's double switch it. Got that. And then neighbors up here. And then he'll fill in on wherever the power play he was on. Sure. Just give him some extra ice time. Alright. Um. Yeah, face off doesn't matter. There we go. And that will be our trades this season, pretty much. Yeah, we can't really... There's no real other deadline trades that we have. Like, yeah, you got Sammy Blay. But he's not worth a ton. And we're going to need guys to play next season, so... Yeah, we got rid of Kapanen. and we'll hold on to Blay for now, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep some guys. We'll keep some guys. Uh, Springfield will best lines. Yeah, that will that'll give Bull Duke the top line time. That's good for us. Good for him. All right. So all that's offloaded. And now we'll just finish the season off. And see where we end up. All righty. Mm -hmm. Nah, we don't need to grab anyone. We got a near full roster anyway. All right, we'll see if any major trades happen at the deadline here. Again, I, I never do the deadline minute game. I think it's dumb because it'll best lines you and stuff. Not that that would have mattered this year, but wow, Pittsburgh got O'Reilly for a first in Ponomarev. Okay. Boston got, oh my goodness, Kane for a first. LaSalle, a fifth in Farinacci. Whoa. Okay. Tugi's punching the air right now, by the way. Goligoski on waivers. Nah. And Robert Thomas is injured with an abdominal strain. Jeez. Who the heck do we even call up? Snibbly, uh, he, I, he might be helping out Boldu. Never mind. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. Good gracious. I'm just throwing people in at this point. I don't care if Shen would do better there. 
Just throw people in. <sighs> it's fine, look. Good God. And we'll best lines this. Okay. Can we finish? There we go. Now, <laughs> Bennington always coming out with the 1 0 shutouts. All right, one more scouting thing. All right. Mikulon waivers, no thanks. And of course, make our team even worse. We're going to do better. Even with uh, Robert Thomas injured. Good gracious. Do we even have. Wait a sec. Why is it? Is Robert Thomas back? And that's why. Yeah. Yeah, he's fully healed. <laughs> Don't want to have Robert Thomas playing defense. But Snivel, he can. Get in there, son. You're basically an OFD. <laughs> there we go. All is right in the world. And we're going to end the season above 500. Yep. There's no way we don't. Yeah. At this point, it's almost mathematically impossible. All right. Paranovich back in. There you are. And good gracious. Absolutely amazing that we're... Oh, wait a sec. Wait, wait. Yeah, of course. Uh, we end with 84 points. Wow. That's actually kind of impressive. With the top score having 55 points and we end with above 500 record. That's ridiculous. With a ratio like that, <laughs> we end the season above 500. How? Did ourselves a huge disservice. Oh man, we're even out of the top 10, technically. <laughs> Hopefully for some lottery luck, but good, yeah. Probably not. And yeah, Washington was nowhere down there. Uh, they missed the playoffs. So hey, we got that going for us. Yeah, we have their pick and they missed the playoffs, but there's no way that that is, yeah. That's such a small percentage chance that that moves anywhere, so. Ayo. Atrocious. Alright, I, I still, this still blows me away. No one hit 60 points, only four people hitting 50 points. This is insane. Letty led the defense in scoring? Are you kidding me? Krug and Falk on the team, and it's Nick frickin' Letty who leads our... That's good for us, because we can move him in the offseason, right? And then hopefully he gets us more than he <laughs> Oh, my God. The, the, the best news of it all is that Bennington proved he is a very competent goalie on a not-a-good team. Probably carried us above 500, and that's a hell of a lot more leverage to be able to trade him in the offseason. Three years at six mil. There's a team out there who would risk that for sure team out there who'd need a goaltender definitely three-year window we got to find a team who needs a goaltender three-year window i think that's more than doable some of those defensemen oh the only pareko luckily is more of a defensive type player we can hopefully find homes for some of those guys as we try to offload but that does it i forgot to check out the uh league stats my bad we, aren't, we weren't doing the uh, contest in this first year because I ended up doing the whole thing, but we will start the point scoring contests uh, come the next season. So prepare. McKinnon led the way in points with 116. Pasta was right under him. McDavid never hits 100 points. Goal scoring. Pasternak with 63. Assist leader. Nylander with 78. Let's see who is the most clutch. Probably Sagan. Definitely. Mathematically. Maybe they beat him out, but I'm not. I don't care enough to do math. Power play goal leader was Ovi with 16. And menu lag is still very much a thing. Also had the most power play points with 40. Good gracious. 
Shorties. Four for Kevin. <laughs> There's our elite penalty kill. There we go. That's how we sell Kevin Hayes. Elite penalty killer. He's actually on a good contract for what he is. Dude, he had 52 points, man. He got an 84. I don't think that's good enough to get him stacked, bro. Power play point leader was also Kevin Hayes by two. The next guy was Jesus. It's just all our team. <laughs> Great penalty kill. That was our that was our upside this season. Let's check. Okay, O'Reilly is one. Crosby. Oh man. That team's winning every face off. O'Reilly's looking like the guy. It's usually him and Barkov in the beginning. Yeah, it looks like O'Reilly. What the heck are Suzuki's face offs? 86? Is he that good? At face offs? Huh. Okay, I don't know. I don't watch many Habs games. Is he actually that good at face-offs? They got Hurdle lower than him, and there's no way he has a higher face-off percentage than Hurdle did this season. Anyway. Defensively, Cal McCarr, where he belongs on top of the defensive mountain. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. All is right in the world. Except for that. Except for the 92 overall and the franchise potential. But otherwise, all is right in the world. Yes. All right. Goalies. Let's see where Bennington actually stacked up. Yo. I mean, he's save percentage wise among the top five on a terrible team. But it was Hellebuck probably the best goalie, I would say. Jesus, played 74 games too? Good gracious. Back to the 90s for Hellebuck and Shesterkin. <laughs> oh, crap. All right, we'll check the rooks. Connor Bedard, point per game in his first season. 82 points, 43 goals. No one else is coming close. And Wall was okay as a rookie, but no one even had enough games to even come close to trying to compete with Bedard. Hit leader. Shifley with 100. What? Mark Shifley, 199 hits. Fights, Felino, Middleton. You guys in double digits there. <laughs> All right. So there, you know what? I want to see something. I just want to see something before we end the video here. He should be in. He's played NHL games. Lol. Lol. Is it set? He's a centerman. No. What the hell is their uh, AHL team? I don't know why I care this. I don't think... Can I check? Yeah, of course I can check AHL lines. Uh, uh, Rochester. No. Is it the Rochester Americans? No, that's, that's Buffalo's. Oh. Wait. Yeah, 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 I can. View lines. Uh, the name will come to me eventually. It's not for Richport. Hartford, right? There he is. <laughs> Grinder. Really? <laughs> All right. Great rosters. Love to see it. Okay. And that will do it for this episode. We'll have our first draft. In the next one, hope for a little bit of lottery luck. I'd love to move up a little bit. There was some good elites in that top 10. If we can move into the top 10, that would be amazing. Not necessarily crossing my fingers, but I'm hoping for the best here. So we'll see what happens. Of course, hit that like button, guys. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one.